Okay, so now we're going to link our databases together using uh, reference fields. So go over to your left hand menu and select database. And the reason we were going to do this is we want to know whose posts belong to who, we're going to want to know who owns which community and keep track of who is a member of which community and also the followers of that community as well. So let's first go into our communities field and we're going to set um, who's going to be the owner of the community. So into communities we're going to have an, to add a property, it's going to be a relationship with users so the community is going to have a relationship with the users and a user can have multiple communities and a community belongs to one user. Select the top one, press done and rename this to community owner. Press save. Now go into the user database, find the reference field that's been created, scroll down and rename this to communities owned. Great. Next, we're going to go into our users database. We're going to add a property, and this one's going to be um, communities followed. So, add a property. This is going to be a relationship with communities. And this is going to be a many-to-many -many relationship because a user can have can follow multiple communities and a community can have multiple followers. Press done. Communities followed. Press save. Go back into our communities database where they've created another record for us. And rename this community followers. Okay, now we're going to want to have um, keep track of our members. So add another property in our communities database and say this is going to be a relationship with users. It's going to be a many to many relationship because you can be a member of many communities and a community can have m many members. Many to many, press done. members. Press save. Again scroll up into users where we've created a matching field. Open it up and for this one we're going to put communities joined. Okay so now we've tied the users and the communities together. We're going to add in one more and it's going to be Our posts. So if you have a community you're going to be able to um, create posts for your followers and members. Go back into database, find communities, add a property. That's going to be a relationship with posts and it's going to be a post can only have one community and a community can have multiple posts. Press done. Community posts, press save. Remember to always go and rename the matching fields which this time is going to be in posts. Scroll down. Uh, actually, you can really um, leave this name community because that's a perfect describer as a field within posts. Press save. And now for this, we're done. We have our users and communities tied together, and also our communities and posts tied together. So once you've got this set up, uh, we can go back and start filling in um, some more of the information in our home screen.